working on picking up a cube to place for the Blue Alliance. We've got the Fearsome Gears working on placing a cube for the Red Alliance, getting it into that middle row. Slicer Tech in their loading zone, grabbing a cone. Argyle Attack coming over with a cone for the Blue Alliance, working on trying to place it onto that top row. Robo Devils working on completing a link down on the outer grid for the Blue Alliance with their cubes. Argyle Attack just trying to line up that cone and they get it on. Slicer Tech coming over with a cone for the Blue Alliance while Argyle Attack, Fearsome Gears grabs another cone for the Red Alliance. Argyle Attack for the Blue Alliance doing the same. Looks like the Giddy Goats are playing some defense on the Blue Alliance, making it difficult for, the for them to get from their loading zone to their community. Now coming over to play some defense on the Pike Robo Devils. Argyle Attack was able to get around them and are now working on filling out that top link. They're just trying to line it up and they get the cone on. It's not on perfectly, but it's on there and it seems like it's on to stay and they were able to fix the positioning of it. That's now four link or three links down for the Blue Alliance. <laughs> Slicer Tech coming in to try to finish off another link. Will they be able to get their fourth link? Pike Robo Devils working on getting onto their charging station. The Giddy Goats are on their charging station for red. Looks like Fearsome Gears is coming up to join them. Just trying to get that angle right. We got two Blue Alliance robots. Oh, and it looks like Slicer Tech was able to get that last link, earning them an additional five points for that cone and five points for that link. Looks like we got a last minute balance from the Giddy Goats over on the Red Alliance. All right, let's see those scores. And the winner is the Blue Alliance. With a final score of 120 points, earning three.